What's up, YouTube? So before we get started with this video, on ESPN, they're going to be interviewing Corey Goff after she just beat Venus Williams at Wimbledon, and she's only 15 years old. So let's see what they have to say to her. 1991. That was a good 13 years before Coco <laughs> was even born huh. in 2004. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. What a thrilling moment. I just asked you now 90 minutes on to take a look back at that moment, and I said, does it feel real? Uh, yeah, it definitely feels real. I've been working for this moment for a long time, and I'm just super excited that um, I got to get this opportunity. What, what did you say to Venus after the match? Um, I was just thanking her for inspiring me, and I'm sure she's inspired so many people, and she's been a great role model, so I was just really thanking her because the reason I wanted to pick up a racket was because of her and Serena. Looked like she appreciated it, too. <laughs> Wow, so uh, I definitely, first thing I'd like to say is congratulations to Corey Golf. That's very huge that she beat Venus Williams in Wimbledon. And she's only 15 years old. I'll say it again. She's 15 years old and she just beat Venus Williams in Wimbledon. That's huge. Granted, Venus Williams is 39 years old. She's over twice, you know, uh, Corey Golf's age. But still, that's huge. That's huge for Corey Golf. She has a bright future ahead of her. Definitely, if she's putting in work now. Wow, that's huge. Also, I like to add, you guys take a look at her shirt. Take a look at her shirt. So I know she's a champion now. With the, the gear that she's wearing, I know she's a champion. If you guys just want to Google what it says on her shirt and who is that sponsored by, you know she's a champion. And whoever shirt she's wearing, he's a champion too. So let's continue. <laughs> I wasn't sure you were ever going to let go of her hand. I know. <laughs> <laughs> when was the first time you remember seeing the sisters play? Um, I rem I think I was like six, maybe. Uh, the reason my dad bought a tennis racket is because of watching Serena play at Wimbledon. And um, he actually saw Serena um, practicing at Pompey Park, which is a court uh, in Delray Beach, and both of them used to practice there. And um, But obviously they were very young, and he didn't ever know that they would be so big. Um, but it just really shows how far back <laughs> it started. Fascinating full circle because... Now you ended up by 10 years of age going to Patrick's yeah. Academy <laughs> yeah. and Serena's coach. Yeah. What has the experience meant to you? Um, it's definitely meant a lot. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I definitely enjoy going there. I, I think he's going to thank you now. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I, yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> I've made so many friends at Marantagu. I always enjoy going there, and they're like FaceTiming, calling me, and I'm, I'm going to be up all night responding to them. What are, what are your first minutes? So just a little quick history on uh, Mrs. Uh, Golf. So she's the youngest player to qualify for a Grand Slam tournament. She's the youngest player to qualify for Wimbledon. And like I just said, she just beat five-time champion Venus Williams in straight sets in Wimbledon. And she's only 15 years old. So this young lady has a long way to go. She has a, a lot of tennis to play. And she's going to be a champion for a very, very long time. 15 years old and putting in work like that against Venus Williams. Granted, Venus Williams is 39 years old. She's twice her age, over twice her age. But this is a very good start for Corey Golf. Congratulations. You are putting in work. So let's continue. Marines Coco of playing tennis. Mm -hmm. uh, I, my first memory, I think I was like six maybe, and I was hitting against the garage uh, at her house. Um, good idea. Yeah. With yeah. the pink tennis racket, I remember. <laughs> and I think I have a picture. I have to find it. Yeah, we'd like to see that. Yeah. 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 What happened lately? Because you, you played Ryan Garros, yep. the qualies. was uh, the first time you won a match in the qualies of a Grand Slam. Yes. And uh, you lost in the second round. Mm -hmm. And then I saw you play the qualies here, and I saw a player from a completely different level in mm -hmm. only a few weeks. How can you explain that? I mean, <laughs> when, when you see what you did today, yeah. it's even more. But even in the qualies, your level was incredibly high. Yeah, um, I don't like losing, so I was like, I need to work harder. So the past couple weeks, I've just been really working hard. Um, I've been having good practices, and um, it, it pays off. <laughs> what did you think when you first saw the draw come out? You, you got through the qualifying yeah. pretty easily, had three great wins, and then you get the draw. What's the first thing that goes through your mind when you see her playing Venus? Um, like, I, I kind of knew I would play one of them. Like, I don't know, I had this feeling, so I wasn't really surprised. But you play one of the sisters? Yes. I like I like when I was in the interviewing after my last round qualies win. Like I was saying, it would be amazing to play them. And like when I was saying that, I really felt like I was going to play with them. So when I saw the draw come out, I was actually super excited. Um, it's not many people you get to play one of the greatest people of all time players. So I was just super excited to play her. You clearly went on court today with a plan. Yes. <laughs> what was your strategy? Um, 
Well, my strategy was just mentally, really, just to stay calm and stay focused. My, we don't like to over uh, strategize everything. So um, obviously, they told her some some of her tendencies, but we didn't like. I never in my match, I never really have a full plan, I guess, because mostly it's just me staying calm and you kind of figure things out in the court. Because sometimes your plan doesn't always work, so you just kind of have to feel things out. Let's talk about. Wow, and I can't stress enough how good this is. I mean, you talk about Lifetime Achievements Awards that she's already uh, achieved. So she can stop playing tennis right now and forever have uh, claimed the fame to be one of the best tennis players ever in Venus Williams. So this is very huge for Miss Corey Goff, and I hope she continues to, to rise and do everything that she does so she can end up her career like Venus Williams, not getting beat up. Like Venus Williams got beat up by her, but you know, having a, a long career and playing tennis and just you know, just really putting in work. So let's continue. About pressure, uh -huh. because for your age, you've experienced pressure much more than anyone else. Uh -huh. You've beaten so many records of precocity already. So you know, and you feel probably, I know you feel it that since yeah. many years already, people expect you to win, and you're dealing through with that incredibly well you struggle sometimes but you're always there and you find a way to win through that how do you do that um well i just kind of enjoy it like i used to put so much pressure on myself before and i was like like coco like you're you're gonna die one day <laughs> and there's no point of you putting so much pressure on yourself like you need to enjoy it and i think after i kind of really had that conversation with myself my game really went to the next level in like a matter of days <laughs> when, when was it uh, <laughs> and where were you? Yeah. <laughs> like literally, like two weeks ago. Yeah, in my room. Oh, oh, okay. at fifteen. Yeah. So, so I saw you play in the juniors here mm -hmm. last year, and I think you've improved a couple things in your game, your yeah. forehand. I know yes. you've had some issues with your serve. Which mm -hmm. you, how, I got to ask you this because we were talking about this second serve. You had a couple of match points. Mm -hmm. Venus, you know she's not going to give it to you, mm -hmm. and you're about to hit a second serve down break point to get to five all. You hit it 108 mile an hour <laughs> second serve on the line. Was that your plan? Uh, I didn't mean to hit it that hard. <laughs> um, honestly, I was just like, I have to go for it. I know that she's, she. I mean, that's the reason why she's won so many Grand Slam mm -hmm. is she comes up big in the big moments. I knew I couldn't just like push my way out of this. I knew I had to hit it. And um, I'm just glad it went in. <laughs> yeah, sure. Wow, so she's kind of cutthroat with it too, huh? Vicious. Got that little... Um, a uh, little 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 fight in her okay I, that's cool that's cool and also i have to stress again look at the gear that she's wearing look at the shirt you guys google uh whose gear she's wearing and that tells you right there that she's a champion because the person's gear that she's wearing he's a champion too but anyways yeah so i'm happy for uh, Corey golf again she's balling out of control i wish her all the luck in continuing to advance and become the, the best player ever in tennis so let's continue we heard your parents. Yeah. They were interviewed. Your father said that. He yeah. said... It, She's laughing already. <laughs> <laughs> yes, when you saw your parents were on TV, uh -huh. you very much looked like a 15-year-old. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> but your father said he kept telling himself, good toss. Yeah. Good toss. Mm -hmm. Next point. Good toss. She's not going to give it to you. She's yeah. not going to give it to you. Could you hear your parents in your head and some of the advice yes. they've given you? Definitely. Um, all I hear now is toss, move your feet, jump, hit the ball over the net. <laughs> um, that's literally all I hear on the court. Um, I like you don't get understand how annoyed I get when I hear that in practice, but I'm very happy you told me that because it's kind of drilled in my mind now. It's not just your parents. You yeah. have two younger brothers. Yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about them and have you talked to them? Yes. So after the match, I FaceTimed Cody. He's like, he said um, his friends are, he, he's already bragging to his friend. He called his friend and he's like, I told you she was going to win. And I, I asked him if he was surprised. He was like, no, I knew you could do it. And I, like, it meant a lot. Like my brothers are definitely my biggest supporter. Cameron was so happy. Um, before the match, he was like, a kid versus an adult. How is that possible? And I was like, Cameron's pro tennis. Anybody can play anyone.